In today's love and relationships, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Have you been there? That's at least what you hear, right? But that sentiment rings even truer when you're in a long distance romance. But it might not be as hard as you might be thinking to keep the flames burning miles and miles away. Jamie Turndorf, also known as Dr. Love, is the author of Till Death Do Us Part. Well, until I kill you, well, unless I kill you first. <laughs> <laughs> she joins us now via Skype. I love that title. Um, you have a guide to help long distance love go the distance, which is really tough for a lot of people. But first and foremost, you say that daily maintenance, maintenance if I can speak today, of your relationship is key. What do you mean by that? What I mean is you got to do your daily due diligence, Natasha. When you are not living in close physical proximity, you got to go the extra emotional mile. You got to give each other extra frequent reminders of your love and reassurance that you're there, more than couples who are living together. But the good news is that this is going to put your love muscle into tip-top shape so that when you're finally living together full-time, you're going to have the skills to take your love to the finish line. All right, I like the easy with the love muscle there. What about texting? Um, that's so right. convenient these days. I'm, you know, a lot of us are guilty right. of it. Is it is too much of that a bad thing though? Listen, you got to avoid texting no-nos. This is what I say: do not avoid, do not tackle tough topics via text. Say that three times fast. You're not going to say it today. <laughs> but what if it's most a sexy couple, text? Do not tackle tough topics via text. Okay. Because most couples end up breaking up because you can't handle conflict via, te via text. You don't have the visual cues. You don't have the vocal cues. So you got to get on Skype, get on the phone, talk the old-fashioned way, and use my conflict resolution methods that I show you in my book, Till Death. And you do that and get face-to-face, -face, and you will be able to take your love to the finish line. And I know you're a fan of, let's say, intimacy from afar. Um care to elaborate on yeah. that while our ch children viewers are listening? <laughs> yeah. Don't make your sex life an ex life. So when you're feeling randy, here's where technology comes in handy. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> All right. So I, Wait, I get your drift, I think. Um, and you say couples living apart, they need to learn to how to date long distance. You hear a lot about flirting, how that's so important. Do you think sexy right. texting is part of that? Well, you T technology can come in really handy for long distance dating because you can give each other the feeling you're together, right? Yeah. So get on yeah. Skype, cook a meal together, share it. Get on the phone, ah. watch the same movie together. Get on Skype, snuggle up at bedtime and f fall asleep together, right? Wow. But the one thing, I, yeah. I always tell ladies though, use the technology but, technology, but if you're seeing a guy who lives far away, make sure he has a really long phone cord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think you need a PI too at that. But anyway, Jamie, thank you so much for being with us today. Dr. Love, some great tips as always. Fun. Nice seeing you, Natasha.